So um, for this one, we're just talking about conditional statements, which have the form if P, then Q, where P is the antecedent and Q is the consequent. Now, I like to um, picture it within uh, like this relationship where P is enclosed within Q. So we can see that, you know, if we're in P, we're definitely in Q, whereas we could be in Q and not in P, right? If I were, say, over here. Um, so we're going to read the, these and see if we can identify this logical relation. So, uh, and we're going to highlight the antecedent in green and the consequent in pink. So for, for A, it's fairly straightforward because it is of the form if something, then something. So the thing that comes first is the antecedent. So we have the if squares have three sides. So squares have three sides is the antecedent, right? Then the consequent is... Triangles have four sides, so this was an easy example for us. Um, and same thing for item B, right? If the moon is made of cheese, then eight is an irrational number. So we have if the antecedent, and then we have then the consequent. So fairly easy to spot in the situation. Um, but how about this? B divides 3 only if B divides 9. Now, think about it. P only if Q or Q only if P. So, Q only if P. Is that true? Well, no, right? Because I could be over here. So, Q not only if P. However, P only if Q. Because if I'm in P, I am definitely in Q. So let's write this down. P only if Q. So B divides 3 only if B divides 9. So B divides 3 is our antecedent. And uh, B divides 9 is our consequent. Now, let's see. The differentiability of f is sufficient for f to be continuous. Now, same thing that we're going to ask ourselves. p is sufficient for q, or q is sufficient for p. Now, is q sufficient for p? Once more, no. Because if I'm over here, then I'm in q, but not in p. So just because I'm in Q does not mean that I am in P. So Q is not sufficient for P. However, P is P is suf sufficient for Q, right? Because, because it is contained, if I'm in P, that definitely guarantees that I'm also in Q because P is inside Q. So I have uh, that P is sufficient for Q, therefore P is the differentiability of f uh, and q is f to b. f is continuous, right? Uh, technically saying we're saying that p is f is differentiable and q is f is continuous. Um, how about e? A sequence a is bounded whenever a is convergent. So do we have p whenever q or q whenever p? So let's think about that. Q whenever P or P whenever Q. So say I am here. Whenever Q, I am in Q. Does this mean that I am in P? Q whenever P. Sorry, I meant P whenever Q. Whenever I'm in Q, does that mean that P? No, right? However, Q whenever P. Whenever I have P, it definitely means that I have Q. So, let's write this out. Q whenever P. This means that if I'm, if I'm in P, I'm guaranteed Q. So, um, whenever P, right? Uh, whenever A is convergent. So let's write this down. Whenever, and yep. 
A is bounded. So for item F, a function F is bounded if F is integrable, right? What does this mean? P if Q or Q if P, right? So let's think about it. P if Q. If Q, does that mean P? Well, no. I could be, I could be somewhere else, right? Uh, however, what, it, what about Q if P? Well, very clearly, because if P, then that means that Q is guaranteed. If I'm in P, I am definitely in Q. So, we have Q if P. So let's write this down. Q, Q, if, P. All right, let's think about now G. One plus two equals three is necessary for one plus one equals two. Q is necessary for P or P is necessary for Q. If I'm over here, I'm in Q. So P is not necessary for Q, right? However, if I am, let's put it in a different color. If I'm here, you know, if I am in P, then, P, then I am definitely in Q, right? So which one is necessary for the other? So Q is necessary for P because there's no way that I could be in P and not in Q. So we have here that Q is necessary for, for P. No way to be in P without being in Q. So this is the consequent and P is one plus one is equal to two. All right, now let's look at item H. The fish bite only when, only when, what does it mean? P only when Q or Q only when P? Well, P only when Q, right? Um, because P, if I'm in P, I must be in Q and not the other way around. So, uh, P only when Q. Let's write this down. P only when Q. If you get confused about this, just think, okay, could it be that Q only when P, right? Uh, well, no, because there are other places in Q that have nothing to do with P. So, P only when Q. P, the fish bite, only when the moon is full. Um, and lastly, let's think. Uh, a time of 3 minutes 48 seconds or less is necessary. So we've already talked about this, that Q is necessary for P. So Q is necessary for P.